Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things hip hop. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest topics in the rap world right now, Drake's clever clap back to Kendrick Lamar's scorching track, Euphoria. Buckle up, because this feud is just heating up. On April 30th, Kendrick dropped Euphoria, a six-minute lyrical assault targeting none other than the sixth god himself, Drake. The track left the rap community buzzing as Kendrick laid out a litany of insults, calling out everything from Drake's style to his associations. But Drake, known for his own strategic mind and battles, didn't just sit back. Instead, he responded in true Drake fashion with a post on Instagram, but not just any post. He used a clip from the 1999 comedy, 10 Things I Hate About You, where Julia Stiles' character ironically lists all the things she hates about her crush, mirroring Kendrick's own approach. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. I hate it when you stare. I hate your big dumb combat boots and the way you read my mind. I hate you so much it makes me sick. It even makes me rhyme. I hate it. I hate the way you're always right. I hate it when you lie. I hate it when you make me laugh. Even worse when you make me cry. I hate it when you're not around and the fact. This seems to allude to a line from Euphoria where Kendrick says, I hate the way that you walk the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress slash I hate the way that you sneak diss. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct slash we hate the bitches you fuck cause they confuse themselves with real women. Drake hinted at a forthcoming reply to Kendrick's track through a message relayed by academics telling the media personality, see you soon on his Rumble channel Academics shared Drake's text. Uh, uh, well, I don't know if I should read this first line, but the, the, the next thing he said, which this, as I told y'all, I, I told y'all one thing I know, I know my goat. He says, see you soon. That's it. See you soon. You feel me? That nigga well, watch what it. What the first line say, though? Yeah, what the first line say? That nigga watch uh, it. It's time to pull nah, it. I, I, don't, I don't know if this has any, it probably, well, no, it, it, the first line says, <laughs> He says, "Ah, uh, I'm I'm energized." Well, he's quoting Kanye though. He's like, "I'm energized by the elimination of Drake with a bunch of laugh emojis." Then he says, "See you soon." I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, anyway. Noting the rapper's motivation stemming from recent industry jabs, including those by Kanye West, this teasing reply has everyone wondering, "What does Drake have up his sleeve?" Kendrick's Euphoria isn't just a track; it's a gauntlet thrown from referencing past beefs like Pusha T to controversial comments about Drake's authenticity. Kendrick is pushing boundaries, but Drake's playful yet pointed Instagram story suggests that this battle is far from over. That's it, that's all we got. Yo, Dr Drake literally basically said, listen, because I was super impressed by it. And he literally said, if you think this is fire, you have no idea what I got coming. Now, what can we expect next? If history tells us anything, it's that both artists are masters of the art of war in hip hop. As Drake teases new material and Kendrick likely gears up for another round, we're all on the edge of our seats. Before you go, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more detailed breakdowns and the latest news in the rap world. This is the Red Carpet Reup, keeping you in the loop with all things hip hop. See you in the next one.